Hello again our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our 24 minute lesson. In this lesson we are continuing with exponents and we are going to look at factorization involving exponents as well as exponential equations. Now if we start with the exponential uh, factorizing involving exponential expressions now if you are given for example a scenario in this case now to introduce this part suppose you are given if you remember the law the law first law a to the power m times a to the power n now the bases are the same we say it is a to the power m plus n now this law can be written also as you can start with a to the power m plus n and you will have a to the power m times in other ways you are splitting this positive to become a to the power of n now in that way similarly if we are given 7 to the power 2x plus 1 then it will become 7 to the power 2x times 7 to the power 1 so you can see that it's similar law and also 7 to the power 2x minus 1 will become 7 to the power 2x times 7 to the power negative 1 so that's what we are using in this case so if we can take it from here we will have then 7 to the power 2x times 7 to the power 1 minus 7 to the power 2x times 7 to the power negative 1 all over 7 to the power 2x times 7 to the power negative 1. Now if we continue now you can see something that is common we have got 7 to the power 2x 7 to the power 2x and 7 to the power 2x and more importantly we have a negative sign in between this means then we can factorize 7 to the power 2x in this case you will have 7 to the power 1 minus 7 to the power negative 1 all over 7 to the power 2x times 7 to the power negative 1 now if you further simplify that can now cancel out and you'll have 7 to the power 1 minus remember 7 to the power negative 1 is same as 1 over 7 over 1 over 7 in most scenarios you are not supposed to use a calculator so you have to add now if you are given in this case over 1 if you are to add that um, you will have the common denominator at the bottom is 7 so you will have 7 times 7 minus 1 and then you can write it as divided by 1 over 7 which is the one that is at the bottom so 7 times 7 which is 49 minus 1 over 7 divided can be changed into times 7 over 1 which is equal to 48 now the 7 can cancel which is called 48 over 1 which is equal to 48 so this is how you can simplify that expression by splitting now I want to remind students not to be tempted sometimes in an exam student are asked to solve a problem if we can go back to our original problem and you find students tempted to cancel that and cancel that and then they will have now this answer remaining minus one this is completely wrong please don't be tempted to do that because this method uses the concept of factorizing so what you do first you need to split them you split them using this law after splitting them you factorize and then you can cancel what is common and then you can solve the numbers later